Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Red Tactics, and today I'm going over my top five MP7 builds in X Defiance. So without further ado, let's go over my first build. It is the Strafe build, which is my favorite build. It has the rapid fire attachment, the leather wrapped front rail, the fast mag, the leather wrapped grip, and the lightweight stock. This is gonna maximize your strafing. So moving side to side is gonna work out really, really well. So if you're trying to you know, move left to right while you're shooting at people, it's, it's gonna be really hard for them to hit you. Uh, now for the recoil, since we do have the rapid fire attachment on, it is gonna be a little on the high side. There's nothing really helping your recoil situation here. And it's gonna be a little zigzaggy. So if you're trying to kill someone that's at like 50 meters, it's definitely gonna be a struggle. But that's pretty much gonna be the case with the MP7 most of the time. Uh, trying to hit people further away. It's just generally gonna always be more challenging. But yeah, this class is killer, especially if you wanna break people's legs and moving left, right, and yeah, they're not gonna be able to you know, land, land a shot on you very well. So we're going into our second build, which is the accuracy build. We have the stabilizing barrel, vertical grip, fast mag again, grip tape, and the precision stock. Now, I'm always rocking the fast mag with every one of these builds because the fast mag, is just, it, it, it's just always going to be more effective than an extended mag. Uh, the extended mag or even the quick mag, I mean, it's just you're going to be able to reload so much faster and get back into the action. It's going to save your life using that fast mag. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can see, it's really easy to hit our shots with this build. And and look at that, without even controlling any of the recoil, we only made, we didn't even make it to the third zone for the recoil. I mean, that's, that's really good control there. So this is going to be really great if you're someone who struggles with accuracy, especially with the MP7. This is going to really help you out to land a lot more of your shots and but but yeah back what i was saying about the fast mag the fast mag it's just even if you cancel your reload with the quick mag and other things it's just this is gonna work better i'm telling you but anyway anyways uh now we're doing the stealth build and we're going to be using the quick draw grip the fast mag again uh the laser the stealth barrel and the suppressor uh, and, and that's the higher tiered suppressor, not the light suppressor. Uh, so this build is all going to be centered around stealth and hip fire accuracy. And you're going to see that, yeah, people that are right in front of you, you don't even have to ADS. So you don't really have to worry about your ADS time with this build, at least if you're attacking people up close. Because even if you crouch, like you can be hitting shots, yeah, off someone that's 25 meters away, hip firing if you're crouched. So yeah, this is definitely a really good hip fire build, but it's also a really good stealth build. It's gonna keep you off the map. It's gonna keep you off the radar, especially if you're using something like Phantom, but you still wanna stay off the radar. This is gonna be a killer class for that. And I definitely would recommend doing something like that if you're sick of being seen by people. Um, now in terms of the recoil, the recoil is actually gonna be better on this build a little bit because the fire rate on this build is a little bit slower due to the, to the uh, suppressor and the, and the stealth barrel. It's gonna reduce the fire rate just by a little bit. Um, which is actually going to help your recoil here. So your time to kill will be maybe 0.01 of a second slower because of that slightly slower fire, fire rate, but it, it, it's worth it for the accuracy and staying hidden in the case of this build in particular. And now we move into our speed build. We're going to have the remove stock, the quick draw grip, the fast mag, the pistol grip, or pistol front rail, and the lightweight barrel. This thing is going to be probably the fastest ADS machine in the game, uh, outdoing pistols probably too. Uh, it, this thing's gonna be really quick, so if you're all about nothing but speed and rushing, this is gonna be great. If you even see me just running across this firing range here, just your running speed is gonna be insanely fast. Uh, in comparison to all the other weapons in the game, you're gonna have the best mobility with, with this setup in terms of sprinting, sprint to fire time, uh, ADS time, this thing is all about speed. There's uh, no help with recoil or anything, but yeah, it still it still isn't that bad, all things considered. It didn't even reach the very, very top, so it's it's not too bad. It's, it's still decently controllable, even with the rapid fire and all of that, but yeah, if you're someone who likes to rush, move fast, get in up close, and maybe you rock the echelon class with an intel suit and you just wanna, you know, annihilate everyone that's in front of your face, this is gonna be a great build for just being super fast all the time with no complaints. Now this is gonna bring us to our last build, build number five, the all-rounder build. Now this build is just centered around, it has good ADS time, decent strafing speed, 
uh, you still stay under the radar and you still have rapid fire and you still have that fast mag to help you out with those faster reload times. So this is going to be the all-rounder where like, you know, you don't know exactly what you want with this build or you don't know what your focus or your strength is. Uh, this is going to be a good choice because it's going to keep you under the radar. You're still going to have that very fast TTK and and you're still going to have good strafing speed and ADS time and sprint out time. So this is just good all-rounder if you're just not sure what to focus on. This is a decent build. Uh, you could maybe swap out the suppressor for, let's say, uh, the red dot sight uh, if, if you don't like the iron sights as much. But, but the recoil is going to be okay on this one. A little harder to control, but not the hardest one of them all. It's going to... it's just... yeah, this is the, the all-rounder, so... Definitely, yeah, if you haven't made any builds yet, you're unsure what to focus on, then definitely give this one a try, or even try some of the other builds in the video. And yeah, uh, that's going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this type of stuff, I can definitely do more builds and for other weapons if you guys want that. Uh, just let me know in the comments below, and, and, uh, and I'll let you know what my favorite builds for other guns are. Uh, I'd love to show my favorite builds on the M4, because that's pretty much my favorite gun in the game. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you guys let me know what, what's your favorite MP7 build. and Or what's your favorite build out of the five builds that I put up. Or is there something I missed? Let me know. I have no idea. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, night, time, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll catch you later.